You probably don't expect me normally to have a please no video about banking, but I do. This is a very special and particular kind of bank. I'm here at St. Augustine's College with Dietrich Clark from Wilson, who is the Central Regional Coordinator of the North Carolina Benefit Bank. Dietrich, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right. I know what I know Wells Fargo and I know Bank of America and you know but what is the North Carolina Benefit Bank? Uh, what the Benefit Bank in North Carolina is, it's a national anti-poverty initiative. Uh, there are actually, the Benefit Bank is in 11 states, but here in North Carolina, the focus is uh, to help families that are in need access federal work supports, food stamps, Medicaid, uh, we do taxes, voter registration, uh, and just recently on Veterans Day, we added veteran benefits. Um, so our job and our goal is to connect those that are in need with those resources that are available. So there are resources. How many, for, for example, for us in North Carolina, how much money is actually or resources are available to people that haven't been tapped into? Here in North Carolina, there is over a billion dollars in unclaimed. Billion would it be. Uh, throughout the country, there's over $50 billion unclaimed. Mm -hmm. Those include earned income tax credits, uh, food and nutrition services, medical assistance, um, so, you know, our organization, which is MDC, we understand that there are uh, people that need that help, and we understand that there is, a, you know, there is resources there, but there weren't um, a system design or in place to connect the two. Um, so through our research, we developed and designed the Benefit Bank um, with Solutions for Progress, and, and, and kind of, uh, now we're at 350 organizations here in the state of North Carolina, and we've helped about 19,000 families um, using the Benefit Bank in North Carolina. Uh, how does somebody get um, connected to this? Can an individual volunteer, can an organization like a church or a religious institution, is there a way they can participate in it? Yeah, definitely. There's a few ways to, to uh, participate in the Benefit Bank. One, as a volunteer or, you know, as a student or, you know, a church member can, you know, get trained in the Benefit Bank. Organizations can get trained, whether they're a for-profit, non-profit. Uh, we have colleges. We have community colleges that we've trained. Maybe an example would be helpful. Now, St. Titus Church in Durham and Charles Thompson there, they're a site and he's involved. What actually happens? What happens is individuals can either call the 1-800 number or they can visit the website to see what benefit bank organizations in that area, uh, whatever county that is, may have been trained uh, you know, in the benefit bank. Then they're able to contact their organization schedule an appointment to sit down um, to fill out any paperwork that's needed for that particular service they're interested in, whether that's FNS or um, whether that's Medicaid or whatever it may be, uh, that counselor has been trained to assist them in, in completing that paperwork. So if I have need, I come in, I might go to St. Titus uh, when they're open and somebody would sit with me and help me fill out all the forms online. That whether it's food stamps, whether it's Medicaid, exactly. um, any kind of benefits that I might be able to. Exactly. Now, when I first go online, you told me this is kind of thing like you do when you want to go and check to see if you can get a loan at the bank, where you go and you online, you enter all your information in and ask you the right questions, and based exactly. on that questions, it can actually calculate what you're eligible for. Exactly. Um, what that is, what you're referring to, is the quick check. In mm -hmm. a matter of three or four minutes, individuals can see what they're eligible for without having to take off work, without having to um, fill out 16 pages. They can put in some basic information and it'll tell them what services they're eligible for them uh, based on the scale of one to five rating. Um, and you know, it's pretty, pretty accurate in terms of uh, the eligibility. And then at that point, they can determine if they want to you know, contact the Benefit Bank site to you know, schedule an appointment to you know, fill out that paperwork that's needed. Capacity, whether that's for taxes or whether that's for you know FNS services, you know you heard from uh, later you hear from the food bank, you hear from uh, a health clinic, uh, all that are able to use the benefit bank in, in some way, shape, or form or fashion. It's absolutely tremendous, and we're going to include the contact information for you, uh, North Carolina Benefit Bank, and ways that churches and individuals can get involved in this. Definitely, this is something we can do that makes a difference. Well, thank you for doing what you do. But we're going to have a couple of the guys who are with us today uh, to tell us a little bit about how their organizations tap into and share in this great work. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Now stay tuned. Don't go away. There's more to come. You heard about the Benefit Bank, and I want you to meet some gentlemen who represent groups that are participating with the Benefit Bank, and I want you to hear a little bit about their work. Introduce yourselves and tell us who you work for. Okay. My name is Daryl Hickman. I'm the Veteran Housing Director at Healing and Care Incorporated in Durham. And what we do, every veteran that we meet, we 
try to get them involved in the benefit bank from a from an aspect of not having to go to the VA to get all of their services, but to introduce new services that are out here in the community to them, for instance, such as food stamps. And in doing that, we're able to empower the veteran, let them know that we are a friendly place where you can easily get things done without having to go through the long line. One of the things you were telling us was that next summer, there's a tsunami coming. There is a tsunami coming. That's correct. We're going to have a, a large fluctuation of veterans that, that be here in our area. And in doing that, we need to empower these veterans, let them know that we are here to offer a helping hand to them. Mm -hmm. So this is another way to support our veterans who have served this country. Yes, sir. Very much so. There's no, they have put their lives on the line for us so we can at least offer a helping hand to them. This is the way to do it. So not only do we have veterans, but we have campus work. Yes, uh, my name is Michael Yor, and I'm with the St. Augustine's College Gateway Program. And we're an accelerated degree program for working adults. And of course, in this economy, we have a lot of working adults that have lost jobs that we help them find jobs. We use the benefit bank to help them do their financial aid online if they need other services such as food stamps, Medicaid. And we're happy to say we partner with um, Daryl and CARE and the gentleman next to me with the food bank. And we're just happy to kind of do what we can, provide volunteer services as well as recruitment. So not only do we have take care of our veterans, um, um, helping those who need to get educational opportunities, participating, but we also have folk need food. If folk don't have food, nothing else works. And Absolutely. food banks make that possible. Absolutely. Uh, my name is Brad Blackwell. I'm with the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina. Uh, we use the Benefit Bank uh, web portal primarily to connect folks with the Food Nutrition Services Program, and that's the new name for the Food Stamp Program here in North Carolina. And we're focusing our outreach or helping connect folks in six really target counties, and those are Edgecombe County, New Hanover County, Pitt County, Pamlico, Onslow, and New Hanover Counties. But if there's anyone in need, we are always available to help any family, community, friend um, connect with the Food Nutrition Services Program. And, you know, our goal is to help families provide a sustainable solution to mm -hmm. their hunger needs. Outstanding. We're going to make sure that all of the contact information for these gentlemen and their organizations and for the Benefit Bank of North Carolina is made available to you. This is tremendous work and it's making a difference. And we thank you and thank God for you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. God bless you and keep faith.